Moving along this Articat 650H1 front differential build, this video is going to be dealing with removing the bearings, getting ready to install the new ones. There is a hundred different ways you can remove these bearings. I'm going to show you the way I'm going to do them. And the first kit we're going to use to remove the bearings is this kit right here. And we're also going to use a press for the most part, except for removing the pinion bearing. We're going to need something else different for that. So the first one, knock this bearing out. Obviously, it's got to come out through the bottom. That one's going to be the closest fitting one out of all of them. Got the piece centered in the press. Kind of a gap down there. So I'm going to use that one to help kind of fill it in. This is only a 12 tonner. But I'll make sure your piece is nice and flat. Center it up the best you can. There we go. She's just going to push right through and drop out the bottom. This one here fits perfectly, but you got to be careful when you press this one out. You got to have whatever you're doing is going to be on the outside of this and try not to damage it. So I just adjusted the press to bring it closer. One thing with this press right here, it's got those blocks and you adjust them for certain things so the triangles and the block fit on the outside. So I just got to set that in there. Center it a little bit. And when I start compressing it, oh yeah, I thought you couldn't feel a little bit of resistance, but it's just going to drop right out. Having a press definitely makes things so much more easier. Now we need to pull this one here apart. I'm pretty sure once I remove that snap ring, the rest of it will just drop out through the bottom. Theoretically, yep, yeah, and it came out. This came out and it wasn't leaking, but we need to inspect the seal surface. It's hard to say at that point, but it looks like it could be a pretty good seal groove. See how the seal's gonna come out? Oh, it came out nice and easy. It looks like another snap ring in there. We're gonna have to clean that out. Sure enough, it is. We're gonna squeeze that one out so we can get that bearing out of the way. It looks like I'm safe to press that out. I'm gonna see if I can catch it on that small ridge there in the press. Use that sucker right there to get her down and out. So I got those little triangles. Not much there to grip off of. But I'm hoping that'll be enough to push it out. Okay, I got some pressure. I can feel some resistance. Do I have this thing fully tight? Oh shit. Sometimes you gotta watch the presses because you'll start building up pressure. And uh, that's when things like to explode, especially since I'm just sitting on those little edges. Oh, my light just went out. Let's just drop this out. And it'll fall on the ground behind me or underneath me. Oh, maybe not. Look at the size of that bearing. All right, let's get that needle bearing out. If we can get it out and the new one in, we're on the home stretch. This could still screw us over and force us to buy a new housing and a new nut. So let's hope it comes out easy. We got to heat her up first because it's held in place by red Loctite and heating it up will expand the metal, loosen the Loctite and 
get it out easier for us, hopefully. Well, some of it's getting warm already. Glowing red hot. She'll come. She'll come. Tap this side. Yep. She's gonna come, boys. Out. We are out. That part is out. Thank goodness. So now we're down to the last bearing. This bad boy right here. This one's gonna be the one that's gonna give us the most trouble. I picked up this bearing splitter kit. Let's put it to use. See if we can split that bearing from the pinion. See, I'm gonna need to be able to try to get underneath that race. We'll see what's gonna happen. I don't wanna split the pinion. I just want to get some separation so I can readjust I don't like the way that's feeling Got my hand underneath. Catch the pinion. Last thing we want is this to fall down. Alrighty, well I'm gonna end the video there of removing the bearings from your Articat differential. Many other ATVs may be similar in the process. Once again, there's a million ways to do a job. This is just one way of doing it. And stay tuned to the next video where we go and reinsert all the new bearings. And hope for the best. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.